Hi everyone and welcome back. We've showcased how to add filters and materials, but how do we know where on the terrain these will be located? In this episode, we are going to break down how to guide where filters and textures will be distributed on our landscape using rules. I have here a terrain I put together of a sort of rocky desert. In the filter stack, I have a few filters without any rules applied to them to create the effect we are seeing on screen. To make it easier for you to see how to use rules, I'm going to showcase this on our materials panel first. Now don't worry, the use of rules for materials is the exact same way how we would use them in the filter stack. Back to our material layer, let's change the color of our first material to be more of a sand color as our base. Then I'm going to add another material. If you want, you can also double right click on a material to duplicate it. Then we can simply take this duplicated color and darken it. We can then remove this white material by dragging it off the layer stack. To add a rule to our rules panel here, click on add distribution where you'll see a list of what is currently available to use. The easiest and likely the most common rules you'll use right off are height, slope, and cavity. Let's select the height rule which lets us control the distribution of this material based on elevation. Select the rule to see its individual settings so that we can adjust the height values of the lower and upper limits. You'll see on the terrain instantly where this particular material is being distributed in real time. I'm going to go ahead and add another rule, and this time let's choose cavity. Cavity will mask the material to either concave or convex geometry. You'll see that this additional rule is acting within the bounds of the height rule. Again, even the distribution rules are stacked in a layer-based hierarchy. We can even control the operation of each rule on how they react to other layers in the hierarchy. Rules by themselves are a powerful tool, but we can also affect each individual rule further by applying special modifiers by clicking the FX plus icon to the bottom left of a rule. This list of modifiers allows us to fine tune the edges of the mask that is generated by this distribution rule. Let's hide the cavity rule for now and click the modifier icon for the height rule. Then let's go ahead and choose something to break up the edge of our height line here. Let's start out with the distortion modifier. Distortion is a great way to add some variety to a rule and we can easily adjust the amount of that variety by tweaking settings such as the distortion scale and the actual distortion amount. And you aren't limited by just one modifier per rule. We can actually add as many modifiers as we want. Let's add small flow and adjust the direction and strength so that it feels like this material is being pulled down the slope some. And maybe this effect is a touch too sharp, so we can add another modifier to soften it up a bit by adding the blur modifier. Adjust the blur strength and we are looking much better now. Much like the hierarchy of the layer based system, the hierarchy of these modifiers is just the same way. The modifier on the left is applied first and the modifier on the right is applied last. You can move modifiers around or even turn them off by double left clicking them. The order at which you place these can lead to different outcomes, so mess around to find what feels just right. Lastly, let's go ahead and unhide the cavity rule, and now you can see we have a series of rules and modifiers working together to give us this unique washed look. Let's quickly apply what we've learned about rules to a new filter. I'm going to add a new filter, the sediment complex, and then add a new distribution rule, select slope this time. We can enable the heat map view to see where the filter is being applied to a bit easier. So let's go ahead and adjust some of the smoothing. And now we have a new unique look to our terrain. Rules and modifiers are those extra enhancements that can really push the terrain shape, textures, and creativity to the next level. In later, more advanced formatted videos, we'll be sure to cover more intricate setups of rule combinations and workflow practices. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.